Apollo Company manufactures a single product that sells for $168 and the total variable cost per unit are $126. Apollo targets an annual after-tax income of $840,000. The company is subject to a 20% income tax rate. Assume that fixed costs remain at $630,000. Part 1. Compute the unit sales needed to earn the tax, the target after tax net income. So, we have a formula here that says unit sales at target after tax income will be the fixed cost plus target pre tax income divided by contribution margin. Well, we've got fixed cost and we've got or can get contribution margin. What we don't have is target pre tax income. We have to uh, convert this after tax income of $840,000 into a pre tax income figure. And here's how you do that. If you know the after tax income, which in this case we do, $840,000, you can convert that after tax income to a pre tax income number by taking that $840,000 and dividing it by 1 minus the tax rate. Well, 1 minus 0 0.20 is 0 0.80. So 840,000 divided by 0 0.80 is going to give us a pre-tax income of $1,050,000. So the way you can check yourself to see if this is the right number that you've got is to go to the second step. <clears throat> the second step says you take the pre-tax income of one million and fifty thousand dollars, which is what you had up here, multiply it times the tax rate of 0 0.20 or twenty percent, and you're going to get have to pay income taxes of two hundred and ten thousand dollars. So, the pre-tax income of one million and fifty thousand dollars minus the taxes you had to pay on that, which was two hundred and ten thousand, should give you an after-tax income of $840,000, and it does. So now we've just converted this after-tax $840,000 into a pre-tax income number to put in this formula. So now we can solve part one. It's going to be the fixed cost of $630,000 uh, plus the target pre-tax income of one million and fifty thousand dollars and really these two pieces are really just additional costs that you have to overcome uh, in order to meet this target so fixed cost plus the target pre-tax income add, the together, add them together and divide them by the contribution margin of forty two dollars and the contribution margin of forty two dollars is just the selling price of one sixty eight minus the one twenty six uh, variable cost to come up with $42. This will give you the units that you gotta sell to get this target after tax income and it's going to be 40,000 units. That's part one. Part two of this problem, they want you to compute the dollar sales to earn the target after tax income. So the first one was units, this one is dollar sales. So it's basically the same formula, except the only difference is in the bottom here. Instead of having contribution margin, you have contribution margin ratio. So the same information applies. We'll take that same little way to convert the after-tax information into a target pre-tax income, which is the 840000 divided by 1 minus the tax rate, or in this case, 1 minus uh, 0.20, which is really 0.8, and we'll get the pre-tax uh, income of $1,050,000. Now, we can solve this the same way we did the last time, the fixed cost of 630000 plus the pre-tax uh, income of one million and fifty thousand divided by twenty five percent and that twenty five percent is the contribution margin ratio which is selling price <coughs> minus variable cost equals contribution margin and then you take the contribution margin which we have right here divided by the selling price and you'll get the contribution margin ratio so for our little problem it's going to be 168 selling price 
minus 126 variable cost equals $42 contribution margin. Then divide the contribution margin of $42 by the selling price of 168 and you get 0.25 or you could say 25%. I think 0.25 is what, the, what you're going to use up here to divide that into that number, uh, in, into this uh, sum. Anyway, <clears throat> what you end up getting is the dollar sales that you need in order to reach this target income, which in this case is $6,720,000.